Big crowd. Venkman would love this. Captain McMahon from the 12th says there was a massive disturbance. Real fireworks show. Not much going on now. Maybe. But didn't there used to be two lions out here? Check for valences. Hmm. Interesting. Ray, take a look at this. Wow, big spikes. Hey, cadet, you need to see this. Stand back. Look out! There Whoa, they go! Double full torso animators! Come on! After them! You heard Stance, let's move! There they are! A couple of Class 5 animators. Never seen them in tandem like that. They're really agitated. Switching on the... All right. Take it easy. Hey! He said take it easy. That's not easy. <laughs> Missed! Damn! Sorry, Z. How about a little warning next time, fellas? That one's a beast, Ray. Let's chase him down. Winston, check that next doorway. See if he has any friends. Leave a haunted room. I got no problem with that. Hey, cadet. To use the shock blaster, it's best to get in fairly close. Its effects are powerful, but dissipate quickly over distance. And please be careful. It's a prototype. We're trusting you with it. The stasis stream will temporarily slow down paranormal entities. If you train the stream on the target long enough, you can actually stop it entirely. This is how you use it. Cool! A freeze ray. A stasis stream. This has nothing to do with cold, but the effect is similar. When do you have the time to work on all this stuff, Egon? I've been conducting an experiment in which I sleep an average 14 minutes a day. Leaves me a lot of time to work. Great. Ready to roll. Hey, Haas. Do you think you can handle that little fella yourself? We'll meet you back here. Let's get a scan. Kid, get him. Hey, Bloodhound, we're up here, to your right! Strong emanations, no direct source, though. We followed our guy in here, and gave us the slip. Detecting a very strong anomaly here. Uh-oh, here comes something big. Now that is a fine example of a level 6 bi-dimensional attractor. Did I mention what a good idea you had to come up on the balcony? It's losing strength. Keep tearing it down. This power is emanating from a single focal object. You got it! Fantastic! Man, 
How much PK energy must it take to collect and animate an entity like that? A lot. A lot of very angry energy. How easy was that? Wait, not so fast. I'm getting some big fluxes here. I think it's her. Yes! Yes, it is her! Eleanor Twitty, the librarian! Look, there she is. Meet us at the stairway door. She went down that way. Winston, check upstairs to see if the other phantom doubled back. Roger. She shocked us again. That witch. Ease out and try to be quiet. Oh, wow, a full stabilizing levitation. I'd say we're close to something. Ray. You got something? I've got something right here. Kid, check that out. Ah! Ooh, she keeps shushing us. That's her, the Grey Lady. She's the first ghost we ever hunted. Man, I wish Venkman was here. I'm pretty sure Venkman doesn't. Easy now. She's real skittish. Damn, lost it. Let's go. We'll cut her off. These readings are off the charts. And now I'll have to make new charts. Wow! Now listen, this place is reading like a psychic pressure. Find her thrower. Everybody stick close together. Here, this way. Quick! What was that? There! Okay, so much for stick together. New plan is fan out. Flexible approach, Ray. There are two hostile spirits roaming around in here. Two that we know about. Uh.
Ahmed, what's your 20? I'm in some kind of a dark tunnel, moving fast towards a bright light. Oof! Class 1 swarmers! Pesky, but combustible. that class 5 animator. I tracked the slut here. There's the big fish! See what he did? Give him a new home, in our containment facility. Look! Did you see that? More than I expected. How easy was that? Good work. That took some doing. Congratulations, Ray. Uh, but I'm near Special Collections. Someone you've been wanting to meet again is here? We're on our way! Keep an eye on the twitchy ones. They'll really crease you if you want care. Any damage? like the Grey Lady makes her own reinforcements. Keep your eyes open, team. She's upping the ante. Thanks for the warning, Ray. But I have no idea what you're talking about. You may want to just take our word for it. There she is. Quiet now. Let's get a solid scan. I missed that, Ray. Please repeat. Shh. Enough with the shushing! Well, at least we're getting closer. Could not hear a word of that, Ray. Ray.
on your left. No! Not my box! Gives you the creeps, huh? Nicely done, cadet. Come on, kid. We need to get out of here. section. Checking the box scores from the Knicks game last night. Why? Tell us more about this collector, Winston. Says here that this collector used the Grey Lady to get to the rare books in her care. Specifically a book called, get this, the Gozerian Codex. Great. Yeah. And when she found out what he was up to, she dumped him. Smart lady. Not really. Evidently he murdered her for the Grey Lady was his first victim, but he killed a bunch more. And let me guess, he collected their bodies just like he collected books? Bingo! Ray, you get to buy me dinner. And here's the last on the collector. Seconds before he was hanged, he said he would return as Azaglor, some sort of god, to keep watch over the library and every rare book in its collection. Sounds like quite the bookworm. Sounds like the kind we run into all the time. I'm not saying that's a bad sign, but it sure isn't a good one. Jeez! That'll only hurt for a minute. Hear that? It's around here someplace. Uh huh. Somebody's in here. I don't like it's children. What are they saying? I think they're trying to tell us something. Got that right, Scooter. Here's the place. Special collections. These rooms are packed with rare and valuable volumes. Okay, she's just going to get on. No noise. Science fiction section. Can't last 
through the shield! Remember how you were saying Print was dead? I wish. Now where'd she go? Valence is up. She definitely left a trace somewhere. I didn't even know this area existed. Looks like the janitors didn't either. What are those? I don't recognize them from Tobin's. No, they're in the revised E. Fieri catalog. I think the Grey Lady is constructing them from the books and minor spirits here. She may be more powerful than we thought. Take a look at this place. I could spend a month taking inventory of these books. Let's be very careful what we wish for down here, Ray. Wow, dig that. Ray, I'm not entirely convinced this is the best course of action. Hey, I'll bet this is a trap! Welcome back, Ray. Serious doubts about the structural integrity of this sub basement. It's moving again! Over to the left! Pull the same trick twice! I'm telling you, the substructure is unstable. The ceiling could come down on top of us. Our low probe experiment is working. You're clairvoyant. No, I saw the support column buckle. Over there! Oh boy. Shh. Creepy. Those beams are wedged solid. Good place for the capture screen. That's excellent. Wonder what's down there. Something big, more than likely terrifying. It's really dark down here.
down too. Wonderful. Hope you don't have any open cuts. I'm thinking flesh eating bacteria. That's an electric lock on the door. See if you can find the power. Great! The recruit found it! Uh, I wonder if it's a good idea to be standing in a foot and a half of water. That didn't last long. I'm a big fan of the level six bidimensional attractor. I'm with you on that. We're lucky there were only some old books for it to manifest with. Um, this is cheery. Nice place. Nothing bad could ever happen in here. There she is! Flank her! She's got nowhere to run! Except through the grave. I'm not clear on how the flanking was supposed to work. Oh boy, burning coal. Two of them this time. Yeah, nice, Ray. Tell us again how lucky we are. before this gets really dangerous. We may have missed that window, Ray. Well, we can't follow her through that grate. Is there another way? What you find there, young blood? Good work. Spangler, the kid found the exit. I added something new to the pack. This is the PDS, Plasm Distribution System. Basically, it's Slime Blower Mark II, heavily modified from the earlier version. Your plasm banks are now integrated into the Proton Pack. It uses a base culture of ectoplasm that can impair entities, cause caustic black slime to go inert, and reveal otherwise invisible ethereal structures that reside on this plane. To use the Slime Blower, just point and squirt. It'll help neutralize any active batches of black slime. It'll... See? Neutronized slime. Our own private shortcut to hell. That's convenient. This is where the Collector killed the Librarian. I think that would be a safe assumption. That book she's reading is emitting massive energy. That's your cue, killer. Go get him.
She took that pretty well, better than I expected. It makes perfect sense if her residual spirit energy is tied to the book. The Gozerian Codex, right? Now that we have it, her echo must have been released. She's gone. I think we helped her cross over. And she just crossed right back. Oh, no. Bookstands are generating her shield. Buddy, the podium, soak them, soak them. Here they come. She is shielding herself with the codices. Go after those first. Bookstands are generating her shield. That's it. She can't regenerate the cage. Keep hitting the bookstands. Up with the codices. Go after those first. That does it. Now let's attack the librarian straight on. as tough as it should have been. I was just thinking of the same thing. It was almost too easy. Like she wants us to have the Codex. Yes, like she wanted us to blast this room apart. But why? Cross-dimensional portal. From the fifth to the fourth. A whole world of ghosts. Something I've dreamt about since college. It's all in the Monarchia Demonium. Fantastic ghost world. Wouldn't get too excited, Ray. I have a feeling she did it so we can meet an old friend of hers. Well, if we're going... Not much choice, is there? It's the only way out. You, take the lead. Don't worry, we do this all the time. This is what the public library looks like on the far side of a cross-dimensional portal. It's one of infinite potential configurations. You know, theoretically. Yes, well, this looks like the Gozerian configuration. Watch out, Black Slime. down and keep hitting these portals. One of them has got to lead out. The natives are restless. Well, they're certainly aware of our presence.
Well, that was embarrassing. Looks like a good place for slime tether. Distract the slime tether, point and launch the first anchor, then point and shoot the second. The launched slime tether will then contract. The more tethers you attach to a point, the stronger the resulting reaction. Since the rectoplasmic charge has a short half-life, tethers will grow brittle over time and then break. Like a pro! principle of leverage should still work the same anyway. Ah, yeah, you're on fire, cadet. Ray, it occurs to me that these events are interrelated. The Bozerian exhibit, the huge energy pulse, the Sedgwick Hotel, the return of Stay Puffed. Yeah. Yes, even this, all pointing back to a single point of origin. Ricky, you still there? Watch out. The mirrors aren't what they seem. Signal we can trap. 
crack you with. I'll try, but it might not work. The last portal I entered was at the top of a long flight of steps. Made it out too. Hey, champ. We won't leave until you find us. Look for the long staircase. The exit portal is at the very top. I do like what they've done with the place here, but I hope that portal would have taken us back to the library. Actually, we are back in the public library. The dimensional membrane must be extremely thin here. Someone's holding us here. The Collector. Yes, Azatlor wants to add to his collection, and he's probably not too happy about us taking the Gozerian Codex with us. Oh yeah? What can a twisted little bookworm do to scare us? He murdered Eleanor Twitty for it when he was alive and a dozen others just to cover it up. Hey, Collector! We're taking your book! What do you think about that? Ah, uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Yes, I think you got his attention, Ray. Oh, boy. by black slime. That must be the key. Hey, Junior, switch out your nozzle and pose them down. Neutronize the black slime on his mask. It's clear. Rip his mask off. It looks vulnerable. Yeah, that did it! Oh no, I think we just exposed his angry side. Bring him down all the way. Concentrate on the eye if you can. He's got nothing that can resist the proton stream. Hit him in the eye. We've almost got him. Oh, blast him in the eye! Rook, I think 
think it's working! back here. Come on, Rook, that's gotta be the way out. Guys! Where are you guys? What the hell were you guys? I've been running all over this library, calling you, looking for you, nothing. We passed through a cross-dimensional portal into an alternate version of the New York Public Library and fought a 40-foot monster made out of priceless antiques to steal an ancient magical book. Oh, well, that would explain it then. Next time, leave a note. Ray, does this mean anything to you? Nope, it wasn't here the first time we came through. What is it? Not entirely sure, but whatever it is, I think we just turned it off. You thinking what I'm thinking? Then cross New York style with no visible anchovy. Hmm? Maybe later. Right now I need to go back to the lab and take a look at this codex. And analyze the data we've collected. It could help us when we go to the museum. Slice to go on the way? Rookie's tree? And we need to know what this is. I'll call for delivery. Again. Well, it's a great read, but nothing about that. I know that symbol. How? It shows up sometimes in Sumerian ritual magic. There's a statue on loan at the museum that features it. What does it represent? Just a symbol. Signifies a path to obtain great power. Most of my colleagues assume it's an old constellation. No constellation I ever saw. And I used to tell fortunes on Coney Island. Is that right? Did you wear a turban? No, man. A red velvet cape with moons. It was plush. Get this. The Codex does indicate there is some kind of feeder system required to channel energy to a destructor form. A destructor form? Like Stapa? It's entirely possible that system and this pattern are connected. It's possible. Wait, you said the Gozerian statuary at the museum is on loan. From whom? Evo Shandor, the architect. Well, the Shandor Foundation. They control Shandor's remaining estate and holdings. Evo is a big collector of Gozerian artifacts. By Evo Shandor the architect, you mean Evo Shandor the genocidal maniac, right? That's what I was researching when Gozer attacked me. Shandor's architecture firm was involved in a number of projects around town in the late 18, early 1900s. Including Dana Barrett's old building on Central Park West. You mean the one with the extra-dimensional antenna that drew Gozer to our world so he could attempt to destroy it? He had a nice view of the park, though. Yes, but he also did some renovations on existing buildings and a number of public works. There was controversy, because a lot of people thought the work was unnecessary. Let me guess. He did some renovations on the public library building on Fifth. Right. And the Museum of Natural History. Recent visitations, specific localized paranormal activity, singing Vikings. They're all connected to Shandor and this pattern. 